So you might be a, a small business owner who you know has a an existing product or an existing uh, you know profitable small business, and you're thinking about ways to help you grow. Um, one opportunity is to raise outside financing to invest in your growth, and there's two options that are available to you. One might mean equity, where you're raising money from a third-party investor and you're selling them a piece of your business in exchange for that capital. The other might mean debt financing, and that means borrowing money to help invest in your growth. So let's start with equity financing. Equity financing might be the right opportunity for your business if you're at the earliest stages of your company or if you, if you believe that there's more risk in the business, right? So if you're just getting started and you don't have existing revenue or, or you're not yet profitable, equity financing might mean the right or only choice for your business where you're raising third party capital uh, but selling a piece of your business. The good part about that opportunity is that um, you can get capital today and you can help grow you know, even though you're at the most formative stage. The downside of that opportunity is that you are selling a piece of your company and you only have one pie you know, to, to give and that's one slice essentially. For the investor, you know, if I'm, if I'm an investor in the equity of your business, I'm benefiting from your upside. So I'm not guaranteed to get a return on that investment, but if you are successful, you know, I will get a piece of that upside uh, in that event. With debt financing, you want to have clear visibility into the profitability of your company or the ability to repay however much you're borrowing. Uh, the good side of debt financing is that you're not selling any part of your business. You're borrowing money that you are expected to repay over a given period of time. And if you do that successfully, you will have grown your business and not sold any part of the company. The downside is that uh, there's always risk with borrowing capital, especially if you don't clearly understand the likelihood of your ability to repay. So within debt financing, there's a, a variety of different options that are available to you. Uh, and all of them serve different needs or different use cases. So the one you're probably most familiar with is a credit card, right? And that's typically uh, essentially a line of credit where you're borrowing a certain amount of money but are expected to repay that amount typically within the month. Uh, or you're charged high interest rate if you let that balance uh, stay on your card for a longer period of time. A term loan uh, is more like a mortgage where you're borrowing a full amount of capital up front and you're repaying that loan in fixed, in our case, semi-weekly payments throughout the life of the loan. Uh, and that might be anywhere from one to five years. In Bond Street's case, it's one to three years long. A line of credit is typically a larger amount of capital that you have access to that you can draw down from as you need it. Uh, this is typically a harder type of financing to get and you need to be a more mature business to be able to qualify. Uh, but it's really helpful if you do have uh, other types of shorter term working capital needs like stocking up on inventory, uh, like smoothing payroll expenses, um, and it's a cheaper sort of financing than certainly borrowing on your credit card. Invoice or receivables financing uh, exists typically when you have a working capital gap uh, when you're selling into a larger company, for example. So if you're a apparel manufacturer selling into a larger department store, uh, you need cash on hand to be able to produce your product. And typically that larger department store is going to pay you, uh, you know, 30, 60 or 90 days later. How do you have the capital that you need to actually invest in that, in producing the product uh, and being able to wait that long for repayment? So invoice financing essentially fronts capital for that expense at discount to the potential future revenue you're going to get from that department store. A merchant cash advance is a specific type of loan product tailored to businesses that take a lot of credit cards. Uh, it's often the most expensive sort of financing that's available to small businesses, so I wouldn't recommend it for most. However, um, what it does do is that you can borrow a certain amount of capital and then the lender will typically take a fixed percentage of your daily credit card receipts. Meaning, you know, you can lend a restaurant $50,000 up front and then they're taking, call it 10% of your daily credit card income. And so on your good days, they're taking more. On your bad days, they're taking less. So in some ways it's flexible. Uh, however, it often can help, 
it often penalizes the business for growing based on that investment. So you're paying back the loan much faster if you're seeing more revenue as a result of that investment. So now that we've talked about the five different types of debt financing that might be available to you, let's go deeper into one of them specifically. Let's talk about term loans.